Hello, you lovely Mario Maker person. My name is Steve and welcome back. I've been browsing a little bit through levels that some of you left me in the comments and I stumbled across a series of incredibly well-designed Mario Kart courses. So today, Mario has a day off from jump and running and is allowed to have some fun driving go-kart on totally non-lethal stages as we take a look on four of these amazing Mario Kart levels. So you're ready? Let's do this. The first stage I want to show you is called Mario Kart Brick Block Fortress and made by Dunster. This course features three rounds, but what is really special is that these three rounds aren't always the same. Each round the course changes and forces you to take a different path. But not only this, the three separate paths you drive through are really unique and creative as well. The stage starts after a short timer runs out and we drive through this door. Remember this area, we will re-enter it every time we finish the lap. The path to the right leads us to a dead end. Luckily this activates a cloud carrying a cannon which starts to follow us. Once we are back at the central part, the cannon destroys the bomb and opens up a path for us. This cannon will follow us now for a while, but it isn't the only threat which Mario faces as this bullet blaster will shoot a deadly fireball towards him. I love how incredibly well timed this is. When I played through the stage for the first time I was sure that it will hit me. Next up is some basic Mario Kart and Mario Makering until we reach the first red coin. This coin is the first of five which we need to finish the level, but the next two laps will grant us two each so that we'll have the key after round three. And now things are about to get interesting. We re-enter the area from before, but this time there is a Mega Mushroom which transforms Mario. Enhanced by this power-up, he's able to open up a new path of the stage. I'll show you how this and another upcoming trick work at the end of this level. This is round 2 in high speed and now we enter the area from before for the third time. And again, things are different. Now there are two bullet blasters which allow our plumber to enter a door which was out of reach for him before. Magic! Round 3 is built around a really cool idea as well. Mario has to drive to the right at first to get a key and then he has to go back to the start of the lab through a different path so that he's able to bring the key back to the lock where it belongs to. Now Mario has completed the third round and finally got all red coins. Our plumber is now able to open this door, which will lead him to the end of our first stage. So let's find out why the stage was able to change during each playthrough. Up there is a hidden swamp piece which power block set up. Once Mario walks below the swamp he drops himself down and triggers both items so that blocks turn into coins and fall down afterwards. This forces the previous blocks to despawn once the room gets reloaded. There are blocks hidden below the bullet blasters. This blocks force the bullet bills to despawn when they get loaded, but once the brick block break, the bullet bills despawn no more and open up a new path for a plumber. The trick with the huge mushroom is even simpler. The mushrooms are hidden beneath these blocks, which break once the cannon reaches this area. Once the blocks are gone, the mushrooms spawn. The next stage I want to show you is called Mario Kart Trophy Quest and made by Gorgian. There are several things I really like about this stage. First, the stage looks really cool. It's an airship and Gorgian obviously invested a lot of time to make the level feel like you're driving on top of a huge flying ship. Second, it features one of two mechanisms I know to create uncheatable round clocks and it starts in a really cool way. Once this amazing setup expires, we can enter the first lap. You drive through this lap for three times. Finishing the stage is actually pretty easy, but getting a good time is insanely hard, as there are tons of obstacles which won't kill our plumber, but make him lose time if he hits them. I love how there are springs at the wall which allow Mario to keep his momentum if he changes direction and that most of the threats are time killers instead of Mario killers. If someone of you lovely people is looking for a great stage to speedrun, I highly recommend you this one. The laps are pretty short if you drive through them correctly. Here is already the round clock. There are three ways Mario can take, each one grants him a red coin. He needs to go through each path once so that he gets the key and is able to open up the unlocked door. 
All right, let's speed things up here a little bit. There's another cool little thing which I want to point out. If Mario takes damage, he's able to regain a mushroom at this pipe. But he always needs to wait until the pipe spawns a shroom, so regaining his card costs time. I like to think about this like a form of pit stop, where you sacrifice time to make up for a previous mistake. And hooray, Mario finished as hashtag one. Before we head to the third stage I want to show you, I've got something else. Playing through all your amazing Mario Kart stages actually gave me an idea for a Mario Kart stage myself. It's not a fleshed out level, more a proof of concept, but I think the idea is pretty solid. The idea is that Mario has to drive through the same lap for three rounds, but every time he drives through, the lap slightly changes. In order to achieve this, we use a mix of coins, blocks, power blocks and P-switches, so that different areas are blocked or open at different times or enemies drop down only during certain laps. During lap 2, for example, one of the platforms is blocked by bullet bills and a path on the top is now unreachable, so Mario has to drive through the bottom area. In this area, the bullet bills jump up and down like crazy and force Mario to take a slightly different path as well. On the top of the stage, there are no buzzy beetles which throw themselves down towards Mario and so on. I think it's possible to create really cool Mario Kart stages around this concept or maybe even Zelda themed dungeons. But now let's head back to really cool Mario Kart stages. The third level I want to show you is called Free Lab Time Trial and made by Mario Maker user PH star symbol Aiden note symbol M. This stage is special for two reasons. First, it features a really cool track with some shortcuts and challenges and second, the round clock in this stage is insanely clever and one of the coolest things I ever saw done in a Mario Kart level. The laps are really short, but there are a lot of cool shortcuts. This part with the clouds can be skipped entirely, for example, if Mario manages to make a really tight jump. This stage features momentum conserving spring walls as well, and it's good that they are here, as we only have 100 seconds time to beat this level. Alright, and this is the famous lap clock. Every time Mario drives through this area, he triggers a POW block. At first this one, then that one, and this one at last. Once all three POWs are triggered, these munchers are no more and these POW blocks drop down, which create a new path for Mario towards the goal door. This lap clock is by far the coolest design I've seen so far. The thing that makes this design really stand out for me is that our plumber has not to drive through three different paths collecting coins, but only through one, which makes it impossible for Mario to miss something by accident. And this design allows for red coins inside the Mario Kart stage as well. Maybe collecting five coins opens up a shortcut, or maybe you want to do something like they did in Diddy Kong Racing, where you had to collect silver coins to win the stage. Before we head to my favorite Mario Kart stage, I want to quickly ask you for help. Zelda themed levels are my favorite sort of Mario Maker levels and I want to showcase some amazing Zelda levels made by the great Mario Maker community in a video soon. So if someone of you created a really cool Zelda level and is fine with the level being showcased in a video, feel free to leave me an ID. Sadly, I won't be able to cover all your levels, but I promise that I'll take a look on each one. And now, let's take a look on my favorite Mario Kart stage. The stage is called Mario Kart Bowser's 64th Castle and it's an incredible stage. Mario has to survive his go-kart trip through this castle Bowser built. There are several threats along his way, cannons shooting towards him, giant sadistic skewers which suddenly drop down and bullet bills which try to explode near to him. But this is just the beginning. Suddenly Mario faces a giant burning snake. This horrific beast chases him and tries to end his video gaming career in an epic way. The only chance Mario has left is to put his foot down and to drive as fast as possible so that he's able to escape this horrific threat. Mario manages to escape from this beast, but this was just round two. In the third round he has to face a boss battle. Mario already regrets taking his go-kart with him, a fire flower probably would have been wiser. But he has to work with what he got. What will this boss fight be like? Is it a giant burning spider which tries to poison Mario? Is it a really tough fight against Bowser? 
The answer waits behind this door. Oh wow, that was actually a lot of fun. Huge shout out to Mario Maker user Danster. He created this stage as well and I love how it's executed. If you want to play any of these stages yourself, you can find all the ideas in the description. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye!